Let me take you much deeper. Praise King Jesus. Amen. I write this point because this is a case to nullify the Antichrist. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the case. Number one, Jesus never used the name Antichrist. Jesus never, take your time to read the Bible, all the eyewitness accounts, four of them, Jesus never used the word Antichrist. Number one. Jesus never used the name Antichrist. Number two, Paul never used the word Antichrist. Paul never used the word Antichrist. You got to look now, Nasa, we got There will be one big man, and so he will rule. He, he will be called Baphomet or any other man. So this man, he will give people business. He will be. I don't know if you know what I'm saying. Do you know what Antichrist? My friend, what do you want to say? Maybe don't be careful because I'm not a hassle. I'm not a hassle. I can't take that. That's an insult. Mimi swezi, wewe chukua hii maaso na hii chukua. Mimi swezi. But come, hallelujah. Do you know what asla means? It means prostitute. Number two, it means thief. Usingie kwa politics sana, and then ukasao, we study things. Take your time, go to your dictionary, look the word asla. It also means a thief. So in thieves, take it. And it is true you will be thieves because you're not paid. <laughs> you not pay. So you are thieves indeed. But that's not an Christ. The problem with people is that they are in charge the body, but they are not in charge to be enlightened. The enemy today is here. Everything is well. And I told you this is not your original eyes. Your original eyes is well. This is your eyes. This. This is your eyes. Kuna mtu anaweza ona chocks. Chungo tu mimi haipasi ya. Lakini nana anaona hiyo chocko hapo nyuma. Kwa and sasa hii kwa akili yako. Wakati mimi mento ndio. Are you seeing it? So you know now. I get it. Nani wanajua KCC? KCC. Ni onyeshi kwa wapi? Kwa maana si ushaiona paka bila naka. That is your eyes. Usha yona na uko hapa. Pasi ya zuwezi kuzuya kuyona. Mabati ya uwezi. Wakati ni memencho tu KICC. Mutu wa mwona mpaka pene hiko. Sini kweli? Your eyes travel as fast than this. This is a shadow of the real eyes. Are we together somebody? Jesus never used the name Antichrist. Paul never used the word Antichrist. So that is where the problem is. People take things that were never used regularly to make it a message in the Bible. And then we get it wrong. You hold on the word rapture. Rapture is not in the Bible. So we have to go back to rapture to understand what is rapture. You hold the word trinity. Trinity is not in the Bible. So we have to go back to understand what is trinity. You hold the word mission. The word mission is not in the Bible. So you have to go back to study to know why it is used. Yet it is not in the Bible. Hallelujah. Number, is it number three or four? Number three. Only John used the word anti-Christ. Only John used the word anti-Christ. Now why only John? Give me Revelation chapter one verse one. Give me Revelation one one. Then we get down the rules to end the topic in Sunday. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants things which must shortly take place, and he sent and signified. The word signify is the word symbolize. And symbolized it by his angels to his servant. So there are symbolisms that we are going to see in the book of John, and we are going to know what they mean. Are we together? Good. Only John used the word antichrist. Number four. John's communication 
is metaphoric, symbolic, and figurative. It is metaphoric, symbolic, and figurative. That is why the war has given the two witnesses. <laughs> the two witnesses. Because I have a revelation in heaven. So I want us to examine some verses where the name Antichrist is mentioned because only John uses it. When we read the whole of this Bible, only John does what? Uses that word Antichrist. 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 But when we come to Jesus, I don't want to get to my Antichrist, but we shall see what is he going to use. Are we together? Let us go to First John. Give me First John chapter four, verse one to verse four. First John chapter one to verse four. Can we read all of us after writing? Let me give you time to write. And can we read all of us? Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they are of God because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming. And now, and is now already in the so is Antichrist coming or Antichrist is already? Why are people telling us after rapture that is when Antichrist will come? Hmm? Ah. Maybe the people. Let me be gentle. The people. Come on, the people. Come on, maybe so we don't call. We are not even talking to our pastors for forty. Maybe the people. They come back with the corner with your goose, and then part of your goose. Can you say the kisha the man that Sasa Jo, the one ruler man, and the kujawa pi duniani, and he will rule. Hallelujah. Na how to use? Wala kununua. Kama una alama ya wewe mtu. Eida kwa kwa uso ama. Bagata wala mbao mume dunga sidaru ya ya corona. Muliona iyo ni six six six. Kwa hivyo ata wamama wenye wakona family mume kwa sidaru ile chip sidio. Iyo ni six six six. Amu kwa mbio. So ni nwa sata. Kona six six six. Sutu ya ni waifo. That is wrong. Let's read again. Go back. Go back. Verse one. Natuwa kusoma na sauti. Kwa sako kusoma kutuwa kusaidia miya kumbuga. From verse one. From verse one. Can we read? Uh huh? Ah, we command Christ. We are not going command Christ. That's a different. That that condition where we will live. I'm teaching about Antichrist. Unfortunately, you seem to be the one. Can you read like now, Christian, Christocentric? Can we read? Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they are of God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. So the word uh, false prophets is the word pseudo prophets. False. Next verse. Pseudo prophets. In I Christ to pattern I to make a pseudo Christ. False Christ. Uh -huh. By this you know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. That's number one. 
Sasa kuna watu wanaenda kukumbuka vitu vilikuwa nilifundisha nikipita. Sikumwona na sema Jesus Christ is 100% man is 100% God. So I mean Jesus Christ came in flesh and Jesus Christ is spirit. What are you going to let us mind up with Next verse. Very loud. Aha. Bye. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not God. If you don't believe the humanity of Christ, you are an anti Christ. If just by denying the humanity of Christ, you are anti Christ. Christ. Yeah, let's continue. And this is the spirit of Antichrist say Jesus never came in flesh. He was not born. He was not in flesh. No, actually he was not born. He was manifested as we read in 1 Timothy 3 verse 16. But Mark will tell us he was born, right? But we know when we advance in knowledge, we know it was a manifestation through a woman. Hallelujah. This is the spirit of the Antichrist. Can we continue? Which you have had was was coming. Who said this spirit was coming? And it's now already in the world. So why are you waiting for Antichrist to come? Hey, I'm not sure. To do, na na, ukijua yu kweli, uta uta koma kuambi watu. Repent, Jesus is coming. Repent because he came, and even Antichrist also came. We shall teach people Christ. And people having Christ is crossing over. You don't need to be special for you to see heaven. It is not heaven at first, at last. It is heaven. Next verse. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is. So Christ is coming or is in you? Good. So, kuna wimbo nilikuwa nasikia watu wanaimba. Lakini si hapa. Kama divine uko msao. I remind you later. Hallelujah. Let us also go to 1st John chapter 2 verse 18, 19, 22 and 23. 1st John chapter 2 verse 18. So, this is John who is mentioning the word anti Christ, not Jesus, not Paul. Antichrist. Are we there? Can we read? Little children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now, many listen, watch out, so there is nothing like Antichrist is one ruler, one big man coming through the earth. It, and the word Antichrist now, in original, the word Antichrist itself is plural. But now in English, when I to make a Antichrist in this verse with S, no usually plural. But I need to make an Antichrist in plural when you go to the original Greek. Are you getting me somewhere? Now, so don't wait for Antichrist and Akuja. Hey, what I know, I'm going to go to the Antichrist. I'm going to go to the Antichrist. I'm going to tribulation. Na hiyo tribulation itafanya na nani na anti? Ah, sifunishwe hivyo. Ya kwamba tribulation itakuja na anti Christ yatakuwa pale kwa hiyo nini? Tribulation. Na watu watajificha, watafuta kifo watapata, watakufa kwa upanga. Ikibidi uingie mbinguni itabidi ukufe kwa Stri ama nani? Unajua? Sisi kama nafundisha watu. Why you told this? Hallelujah. Ya kwamba Auta nunguwa wala kuhuza bila 666 Na utaingia kuwa damu yako Let me tell you Hakuna mtu watangia biguni kwa damu yake Na kwa damu yesu kristo Nothing else No one goes to the father Except through me Except through the blood of Jesus The life of Jesus The person of Jesus Not your blood Your blood I always I always dig on Your blood I always point the mend Mend Nita kuponya wende mikuni. Mende, mende. Tuwaunge kusu mende. Jamani masikia haya. Jamani mpo. Little children, it is the last hour. 
And as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now, many, so there are many, you could be sitting opposite an Antichrist. Antichrist could be helping you to say, Hallelujah. Another answer might give you God fire. God fire. Even when you know the truth and you stick on the things which are not truth, you are an Antichrist. Many antichrists have come already, by which we know that it is the last hour. So you are sick with a mission to antichrist and a kuja, a kuta kuni, a pan. Don't wait for that one man rule. Don't wait. That one man rule on earth is Jesus Christ. For Christ has given, for God has given us the name above all other name. At the name of Jesus Christ, that is one man rule. Everything shall be in heaven, on earth, and other. And so who is the one man rule on earth today? And we are ruling together with him. We are a royal. What is the word royalty? Kings. We are kings and priests. We are dominating men. I asked somebody. Sikumwaju kia mungu pato mekufa. Eliza utafanya ina. Eh, tatuloka mbio. Ni ya mungu nipare mekufa. Mitaki mbio. Verse 19. Verse 19. They went out from. Why are you? 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 Why are so uh, let, 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 me, let me not go there. Can we read? They were out from us, but they were not of us. Even Jesus said, if they were for us, they wouldn't have left. Praise the Lord. Anytime I see people trying to bring issues. Whether in church or their teams. Hallelujah. He couldn't team your wase. He couldn't team your chungaji. He couldn't team your worshippers. He couldn't team your youth. I'm a ni. Najua haka. Ni kale ka andi Christ. Ka komiongo ni mwetu. Na ka meshino ku survive the environment. So ka nata kutafuta. Ni tatoka aji. Kwa hii environment. If they were. Listen. They went out from. We are talking about andi Christ. I, I told him, Gesema, and the Antichrist is that one man who fell from heaven and then he would look no one. I don't see this. They went out, those Antichrists, from us. But they were not for us. So you could be here. You are for us. Or you are not for us. Who are you? Ask your neighbor, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are I'm not. I'm not. See mistake. You feel like I'm talking to you? For bad. You say, "Oh, Asante Kwan." They went out from us, but they were not for us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made. Now listen to me. Ukiona mchote ata mwa ipo chini yangu haba. Alivi. Na hili potoka, alianza kuunge kinyume na mimi, ni Antichrist. So mapo vizuri. Because I taught them Christ. I trained them to know Christ. And then when they left, that is why they began to behave that so that they can be manifested. They can be revealed. Are you getting me? It is a word of two are That is the word manifest. Flesh cannot understand the things of spirit because they are spiritually designed. And flesh. Now, when you are going to talk about flesh, you are going to say, I'm 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 going to say, I'
shetani atakuja sasa ndio take over the world hautauza hautanunua na hata tulisoma tulisoma wapi si revelation hata chapter 13 hebu kata chapter 13 eh si ndio hii si ndio hii now they are being made manifest now they are being made manifest mtu yote amekuwa chini ya hii huduma akitoka wana kwa pale amanda kuandika i prophesy to you that you are going to have a miracle in the next 12 days in Jesus name and then we can say amen amen 24 miracle natoka wapi natoka wapi ujue kilikuwa kiungwa mwitu kilika lakini kikitaka kusema in the next 24 miracle unaona kwa sababu tayari kuna na kwa sababu tayari anasema kuzo unknown god na anakuja na reveal the known kikijaribu kusema eh the first i bring the first ah uh, pastor david ako hapo na pastor david amesema tu jinsi ya kumjua mungu kikiangalia huko pastor chum ah ha hapana wacha tu ichaki na sweat kinatoa ngozi kisha tu ngozi sasa kiko mahali pastor david yuko pastor david yuko pastor chum yuko chama na yuko diko na yuko sasa kinakuwa vizuri ah hapa sana naweza andika now i prophesy to those who are reading this who are reading this that there is your miracle coming in the next 12 days stop amen if you agree with me we know not amen to to any christ amen 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 i get it you need to know the truth so that you can never be manipulated praise in jesus amen Sasa tukiandika kwa Facebook kwa mtandao kwamba Grace Over Church we only do teachings for 15 minutes and then we worship and we praise with hands for 30 minutes and then after that we take tea and bread namba iko na siaki next Sunday mtakosa kwa kwa Wana bring 15 minutes Nimekuwa nikitafuta kanisa kama hiyo hiyo tu yani tunaingia tunaambiwa George Tulicho Mungu anakupenda hali kukufia haleluya your lord is coming your lord is coming your marriage is coming your marriage is coming you are you, you are rising we are rising the bible says arise and shine for your glory has come i tell you your glory for your marriage has come haleluya amen now with the grace of our lord jesus and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forever more amen i just stop pastor and the christ wa meja wanatafuta kile wanataka hawakipati they can pay for bus fare wafike mahali wanataka hallelujah they went out from us those and christ but they were not of us for if they had been of us they would have continued with us but they went out that they might be made manifest that none of them were of none of them were of none 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 none, none. verse 23 who is a liar but he who denies that jesus is there what is the original tongues of satan when he speaks lies he's speaking his native language who is a liar but he who denies that jesus is the christ he is antichrist who denies the father and the son so who is the father christ who is the son exactly when he became son in incarnation he became flesh he became human 100% he is the father because he's the god who paid everything for us so anybody who does not believe the humanity of jesus christ and the deity of jesus christ that man is antichrist so there's nothing like a one big man coming ambe mtu toka Verse 23 Whoever denies the son does not have the father either he who acknowledges the son has the father because the son and the father are remember in the book of John chapter 10 verse 30 give me John 10:30 John 
church giving. Inasema, Father and Son are one. Are we there? John 10 verse 30. I and my Father are one. Exactly. So, accepting the Father is accepting and accepting the Son is accepting. So, anybody who does not believe in the humanity of Christ, in the life, death, and resurrection of Christ, is an antichrist. That's why you look me an anti because no anti. Not then. John, 2 John chapter 1, verse 7. 2 John chapter 1, verse 7. 2 John chapter 1, verse 7. Let's read. For many deceivers have gone out into the world who do not confess Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. So the revelation of Jesus Christ to John through the angels now the father beast, nini, those are figures, ama symbols. You need to understand them so that you don't misrepresent the message. Let us write this. According to John, that is the revelation John received, and the Christ will not come. He already came more than 2,000 years ago. Hey, somebody is telling us Antichrist anakuja anakuja according to John the revelation of that John received from Christ through angels Antichrist will not come but he already came more than 2000 years ago when is us few Let us read Matthew 24, verse 1. The Soma Kuruka because of time. Read Matthew chapter 24, verse 5, 11, 12. Uh -huh. Verse 24, because uh -huh. can we read? For many will come in my name. So this is now Jesus. Huh? Are we together? For many will come in my name, say, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. Uh -huh. And will deceive many. Verse 11. I'm, I'm at 20, uh, verse 11. Eh? Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. So we are not seeing Jesus calling Antichrist. He is calling them pseudo prophets. Hallelujah. But 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 we see uh, John a greater pseudo Christ. Hallelujah. Then many false prophets will arrive, will rise up and deceive many. Next verse. And because lawless, lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Verse 23, 24, 26, verse 23. No. Upendo kumekoma. Kuna kuja chaji kuna nataka. Hale. Na unatoka kuna nataka. Jijazi huwa yu, ha? 23. Then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or there, do not believe it because they will start running for the miracles. Leo, Leo Netika, study, uh -huh. For false Christ, are you seeing the name that Jesus is now using? The pseudo Christ. The false Christ, the false Christ, the false Christ, and the false prophet. So the false Christ and the false prophets. Now Jesus is bringing a good conversation here. False Christ, false. So if I'm a false prophet, I can produce a false Christ. Are you getting? Because when I teach the wrong things, I produce you because you are what you eat. 
So the false Christ and the false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive him not after you, Jesus. That's then. He says these signs began, we began by reading from new tongues, you know, now and not tongues. Now, by the way, there is something I never mentioned, so which I will come back for it. Because when we talked about the new tongues, there is new tongues, there is unknown tongues, and then there is groaning. So groaning is a dimension on itself. We shall come back on that later. I didn't talk about that. For false Christ and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. About non God, Even the elect, are you elect? Are you elect? Yeah, you, if you are born again, you are elect. Senate. Senate, elect, meaning automatically you the next Senate. So if you are born again, automatically you are qualified, you are rapturable. That's why you are called elect. Hallelujah. Verse 26. Verse 26. Verse 26 to 28. Eh? Therefore, can we read? Therefore, if they say to you, Look, he is in the desert, do not go out. Or look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. So, let we him now be one. Christo kukitamba, mwena yende vitamba. Mwena yende wa Yesu. Christo kwa sticker. Mwena yende sticker. Yesu wanasema, when they tell you look, he's in the desert. Kitamba ni desert, my friend. Iki tu ni mzuru kwa magamasi na jasho. Ini kwa mwili. Praise Jesus. 